Two suspected terrorists killed a man in broad daylight in a London suburb on Wednesday, prompting a major emergency response from the British government. It was around 2.30 in the afternoon when police were called to John Wilson Street in Woolwich to reports of a man being assaulted. Eyewitnesses described the attackers as crazed, hacking at their victim and posing for pictures before charging at police, wielding meat cleavers. The two alleged attackers were eventually shot by officers and after being treated at the scene were taken to separate hospitals in London. So I've gotten off the bus and realised that there were a couple of um, helicopters overhead and there was a lot of police and um, then they've covered the body with a body bag. The armed unit trying to disarm the two men and one man was in the middle of the road bleeding profusely and, you know, and then the ambulance started arriving. Eyewitness photos posted on Twitter show a number of men on the ground and police cars blocking the street. Another shows the arrival of an air ambulance. Aerial pictures of the scene reveal the road littered with knives and beyond that a police tent covers the body of what's thought to be the victim next to a trail of blood. Away from the scene, the government response revealed the true severity of what had unfolded. Following a briefing from the Met Police and Director General of MI5, the Home Secretary called a meeting of the government's COBRA committee. The Prime Minister, who was planning to stay in Paris overnight, is cutting his trip short. I've been briefed by the Home Secretary about this absolutely sickening attack in Woolwich in London. It is the most appalling crime. We obviously are urgently seeking, and the police are urgently seeking, the full facts about this case, but there are strong indications that it is a terrorist incident. People across Britain, people in every community, I believe, will utterly condemn this attack. We have had these sorts of attacks before in our country, and we never buckle in the face of them. So far, no information has been released about the identity of the victim or the condition of the two suspects. The government's COBRA committee will meet to discuss the attack on Thursday morning.